Oh, Mr. Zach Wild, you hairy, hairy man, you. See, you've been hiding the secret, but I cracked the code. If you are like me or were like me, you probably went on the internet and seen multiple, multiple pictures like this of his setup with his pedals. And I went out and bought those pedals, and the problem I had is the same problem you're having right now. You just can't get anywhere close to that sound. However, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. I'm telling you now, this is gonna make a world of difference. If you follow what I'm showing you in this video, you're gonna be absolutely blown away with the sound that you're gonna get out of your setup. All right, so let me start out. You can see behind me, that's a 1960s classic Les Paul. It's about a $2,300 guitar. That has EMGs in it. This right here, I bought this guitar off of Amazon for like 200 bucks and threw the EMGs in it. It's actually a really cool looking guitar and it plays pretty darn good. You're gonna have to put some setup time into it and if you wanna throw those EMGs, you're probably looking at another $200. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. Another thing that you're probably going to have to have or at least close to having is a JCM 800 Marshall amplifier. At least a Marshall amplifier. That's gonna get you the closest you possibly can to Zach Sound. That's what he's always used. That's what you're gonna to have to get close to. Now I'm going to focus on two albums. I'm gonna look at the No More Tears. I'm gonna get you the sound that I think is very close to what he's using, at least live anyway. And then I'll play a song from Osmosis using the same setup and it just sounds so cool. But this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Everything I've ever read showed that Zach Wilde used a super overdrive from Boss, a chorus, chorus ensemble, and a digital delay pedal. He also uses a wah-wah, he uses a Rotovibe, which I never owned, and sometimes a phaser. Now he has his whole new line out there and if you're really chasing that town, you might wanna go that route. But this is what he was using back in the day, especially live. In his recording sessions, when he was in the studio, he would use the Yamaha. Problem is you can't even find those anymore. If you do, they're pretty expensive, they're used, they're not new. There are a couple guitar recording amplifier apps that you can find these things and download and get that sound. But if you're just going straight live, you're up on a stage, you wanna use these pedals. But here's the kicker. Every time I've ever looked to see how to hook those pedals up, they would tell me, well, you wanna put the chorus in front of the, you know, overdrive, you wanna put the delay in front of the chorus, whatever. They never told me the actual trick. How to get this thing to sound so good. You see, every time I plugged those pedals in, they sounded weak, they sounded feeble. I couldn't understand why I could not get that deep, thick, Zach Wild, whooshy tone. But this week, I messed around a little bit, had a little extra time, and I figured it out. You see, he's not running these things straight into the output. Here's what he's doing. The boss chorus, the delay, and your phaser are going into your effects loop on the back of your Marshall amp. If you don't know how to hook your pedals up to an effects loop, there's a ton of videos out there. Very simple to do. You might need two extra cables. I use monster cables, even from what Zach used to use is monster cables. That said though, you plug your delay, your phaser, and your chorus into the back of that amplifier, the effects loop. See, what happens is when you start plugging this into the input of your amp, the front, the face of the amp, that overdrive is just distorting everything. It's just making it a muddy mess. You're not getting those clean, rich, thick, heavy tones that Zach was getting. So then once you get those pedals hooked up to the effects loops in the back, you're gonna put your wah, you're gonna attach that to your overdrive, and then you're gonna plug that right into the input or in the head. And of course, you start getting sounds like this. All right, let's check this out. Amp, no pedals. All right, that was just the amp and the guitar, but now let's turn on the boss chorus. Now let's kick on the super overdrive. 